Hello and welcome back. So glad you've chosen to tune in and I'm here with an update. As we know, Prince Harry made an appearance at the Masters of Scale Summit. So he gave such an impactful talk and I'll include the clips here. So let's watch. Look, I, I, think, um, I think we're a product of our upbringing and what we're exposed to as, as, as young kids. I think the majority of us in this room, especially as far as I'm concerned, 99.9% .9 of people on planet Earth right now are dealing with some form of unresolved grief, trauma, or loss. And most of that we suppress. Society doesn't really encourage us to bring, uh, to bring it to the surface. But if, if we're not aware of that, if we don't have a self-awareness of how we got to where we got to, why we react the way we do, our mood swings, our, again, our upbringing, what we saw, what we experienced, what happened to us, as opposed to what's wrong with us, then we are part of the problem rather than part of the solution. So I want to be the best leader that I can be. I want to be the best boss that I can be. I want to be the best father that I can be. I want to be the best friend and the best buddy to whoever wants to be my friend and my buddy. I'll be your friend. because <laughs> 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 he has to be. <laughs> but we're also at a point where we actually need to unlock that potential because of the state of the world and the, the, the number of unknowns. It is scary, especially if you have children. Even if you don't have children, I think it's still pretty scary. Therefore, we're gonna have to do better. And the only way we can do that is individually grow ourselves, but also for the people that we're responsible for, help them to grow as well. And if you're gonna scare your company, the only way that I believe you can really scare your company successfully, scare yourself and scare your employees at the same time. Heard it there from Prince Harry, who was the surprise special guest at a panel at the Masters of Scale Summit, a conference put on by Wait Watt and hosted by LinkedIn co-founder Reid Huffman, who also has a podcast with the same name. So there has been no footage of the panel discussion. So this is some of the first video footage that we have. Um, the panel included Alexi Robichaud, the founder of mental health and coaching startup Better Up, for which Prince Harry is the chief impact officer. One thing I love about these clips is that Prince Harry, he is talking from his own background. And it is quite noteworthy that it doesn't feel like he is talking down to his audience. The cynic might wonder what a prince would have in common with a lot of people who do not share a lot of the privileges that he has enjoyed, but he talks from his own experience and what he did with the unresolved trauma. Um, it's been documented and he's spoken up about it, about how he had a very reckless time in his teens and how he's gotten through it. So there is a realness about Prince Harry, and that's a great quality that he has. And a lot of people, I think they gravitate towards him because of that. And I love in that clip how he talks about wanting to be um, the best buddy to whoever wants to be a buddy to him. And he has a time there just to crack a joke. So, you know, there's those old shades of him, his cheekiness just coming out. But of course, just amped up by the fact that he is in such a better place than he has been. He wants to be, you know, the best friend and the best buddy to whoever wants to be his best friend and buddy. He says that he will be your friend. And that doesn't feel disingenuous. It feels very, very real and it feels authentic. And I love that about him. It's just so heartwarming to see him in this facet of his life taking control and it's fantastic to see the rapport that he has not only with the audience but with his fellow panelists. It just shines through and as Better Up has put it here in their post, they've said that it helps to have great friends in the support system in the journey. And of course, for those of us who know Better Up provides coaching and mental wellness programs for corporate entities. So all we've seen so far are people tweeting online about some of the sound bites. And this is one from Mercy Corps CEO Tejada McKenna. I hope I've said that first name correctly. And this is the quote. From a boss's standpoint, if you see your people as numbers, you will fail. You can't treat them as numbers, but folks who need a human connection to fire on all cylinders. And went on to write wise words from Prince Harry. So that was what she tweeted and also hashtagged it Masters of Scale Summit. 
So the session was titled, quote, Put Your Own Oxygen Mask On First and was moderated by Hoffman and it preceded an opening night party for the conference on Wednesday evening last week. And as we've heard there in the clip, it seems that Prince Harry is talking about how people have to prioritize mental health. And I strongly believe that that panel had to be so interesting. So I'm looking forward to more footage coming out so that we can cover it. But I'm happy to give you some of the first clips here, courtesy of Better Up Social Media. So that's great. And I saw a tweet online talking about how people were so excited when Prince Harry showed up um, that people were just cheering for him. So that's great to see that he is able to open up, share his own experiences and also be a coach um, in his new role with Better Up. And you can especially see his confidence in his posture and body language in this behind the scenes snap where he is standing with Reed Hoffman and they're about to take the stage. And you can imagine no tension or nerves as they're just about to go on stage. And I think that speaks to how far Prince Harry has come. I, and it just harkens back to a clip where Prince Harry opened up and said that he would get nervous sometimes as he was going on stage to give one of the many speeches that he had given up to that point. But look at him here. He is just happy. And it's all over him. And, you know, it does counter that narrative that says that he, you know, he is miserable in his new life. That that's a man who looks confident and happy, even if he's on work mode. There's a sense of fun in the atmosphere. And yeah, this is so wonderful. So for those of you who need to know more, Prince Harry became the chief impact officer of Better Up in March 2021. And that was one of his first career moves after stepping back from his official royal role and his influence on the organization has been felt so strongly and you know he has that whole background as the founder of Invictus Games. He has had a passion for supporting veterans and dealing with them in what he calls invisible injuries. So this is just like another facet of his work, destigmatizing mental health and the conversations around that. We've all seen how much impact he has had. Um, we've heard first-hand accounts from Serena Williams, who started off as a close friend of the Duchess of Sussex, but right now she is someone who benefits from Prince Harry coaching her and giving her advice. She's spoken about it time and time again. And she spoke about how it helps to have another perspective and how Prince Harry comes in and gives her, you know, just another way to look at things. And it's great to see that he is on this whole goal of helping people live fuller and more balanced lives. And I know that he has been such a game changer for the company on so many levels. He is forging forward in this path. And it's great to see Prince Harry out there as a coach, you know, on panels and giving discussions, talking about his own past life and all that he has done. And it's great. And I think Prince Harry as well, he's benefited from coaching. Um, he's talked about how that has helped him in his own life, um, having that work-life balance and helped his own relationships um, as a husband, as a father. It's so, so cool to see him in this new facet of his life. And as I've said before, looking very confident and truly happy from within. Yes, it's great to see Prince Harry discussing um, looking at mental health and viewing it as a way to unlock human potential rather than simply viewing it as a mental illness. So yes, he has spoken about this before. We remember how he opened up to Oprah and talked about um, how when he met Meghan, that she inspired him to pursue therapy more than ever. And he was quoted as saying, it was meeting and being with Megan. And I knew that if I didn't do therapy and fix myself, that I was going to lose this woman who I could see spending the rest of my life with, end quote. So it's good to see him happy here and more confident than ever. So as I said before, as more images and footage come out, I will be looking forward to updating you here on this channel. So leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And thank you all for watching. Thank you right now to my Patreon, PayPal, and membership supporters. I would like to say thank you. And a special shout out right now to a couple of you here. Thank you so much to you, Lala, one of the newer supporters of this channel. I want to say thank you for choosing to come along with me on this journey. I want to say thank you and a special shout out right now to you, Connie Balmer. Thank you so much. You've been a longtime supporter. Words cannot express how grateful I am for your generosity, for your giving. I want to say thank you and a special thank you right now to you, Daniel Medical, one of the newer supporters of this channel. I want to say thank you and I appreciate you so much. And thank you as well to you, Helene Gruen. 
I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for believing in my work here on YouTube and supporting me in this work. I want to say that I'm so grateful to God for you. Thank you so much and God bless. And once again, thank you to you, Anna M. Jackson. Thank you for your giving and you're so dear to me and I appreciate you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Once again, thank you to all who support this channel financially, those who support through Patreon, PayPal, as well as your memberships on YouTube, as well as those who give super thanks. Thank you so very much. Once again, leave your thoughts on these clips below. I love you all and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one. But we're also at a point where we actually need to unlock that potential because of the state of the world and the, the, the number of unknowns. It is scary, especially if you have children. Even if you don't have children, I think it's still pretty scary. Therefore, we're going to have to do better. And the only way we can do that is individually grow ourselves, but also for the people that we're responsible for, help them to grow as well. And if you're going to scare your company, the only way that I believe you can really scare your company successfully, scare yourself and scare your employees at the same time.